There's a story about John Tukey. <clears throat> late in my career, very late, um, I was having all these opportunities to give, this is, uh, this is post Emmings uh, lecture on NBC. So someone like myself was really un in demand for giving lectures and giving short courses. And, and I was, because I'm a full professor at Princeton, I had responsibilities to teaching and students. One of them. So I went to the dean and uh, I said, I'm discussing this problem because I was, had all these opportunities to make a great deal of money, actually. And, um, and, uh, but at the same time, I had obligations to the university and I went to talk to the dean about that. And I said, was it? Was there any possibility of a, a, you know, sort of a split appointment of some sort or a part-time appointment? And he, and he turned to me, no, no, you, you're, you're going to be a professor at Princeton. You're going to be a professor at Princeton. And I made, the, I said to say, I said to him, well, but you know, Professor Tukey is a professor at Princeton. And he's also a director of Bell Telephone Laboratories. Yes. And so the guy, the dean, said to me, Stu, you are no John Tukey. <laughs> 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 you can only confess that, you know, of course, you're right. <laughs> Big John, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. That was before the famous line about, I know John Kennedy, I've worked with John Kennedy, oh, believe me, you're no John Kennedy. So oh, that you had that line first. <laughs> no, I hadn't heard that one, no. Well, that was in one of the political debates oh, uh, back, yeah. way back when. <laughs> I've got a John Kennedy story, though, when Tukey. Oh? Yeah, this is a good story.